Yeah, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now, if I had a penny for every speculation that was wrong in this game, I wouldn't need to do YouTube at all. And in fact, my YouTube channel would be a lot more profitable and healthier than it is. I mean, earning $50 a year ain't exactly going to do much, is it? So, what's the purpose of this video? Big question. There's a rumor. It's a rumor, and like all rumors, if they once they start getting there, they spread like wildfire. The 50B is getting a huge armor buff in update 8.1, or so you're all led to believe. Here's the thing. There are numerous resources related to Blitz that draw its information from firstly the API clients and such, but they're not actually officially released by Wargaming, nor are they officially affiliated to Wargaming as such. Now these resources are great, don't get me wrong, and anybody remotely interested about this game should be using at least one of these third-party bases for knowledge and information. But here comes the crux. The information that is listed on these third-party apps are only valid once Wargaming releases it officially. Doing the rounds at the moment on various YouTube channels, etc, etc, is the rumour that the 50B, on the French Tier 10 Heavy Tank, is getting an armour buff, especially on its turret. And, um, alongside that, that is either the E3 or the E4, is getting an armour nerf on its turret. So how did this rumour come about? Well, it came about because a third-party platform, Blitzhanger, by the way, Blitzhanger is a truly fantastic source of information and is invaluable if you take this game seriously. It says so. But here is the important part. They actually do not know for certain. Now, lots of people have jumped on this bandwagon claiming that the 50B will get this massive buff, making an already formidable tank even more formidable. But is it true? Well, possibly not. Blitzhanger themselves have based their information on 8.1 open test, which as far as I'm aware was changing the hit skins to better reflect the actual current armor profile. And Blitzhanger clearly states that some models they are showing may be broken. In fact, that is the very important disclaimer that Blitzhanger has put on their own website. And as you can see, Blitzhanger is saying there that some models they are showing may be broken, so don't read too much into the information that is now being provided, and only the actual release and or official announcements from Wargaming themselves will provide the actual answers. So here we have a situation currently, which is no different to any other sort of unofficial leak information. That is mostly speculation and guesswork, and not based on actual hard facts. My advice, as always, don't rely on such things as being set in stone, because, like with all unofficial leaks, until Wargaming makes anything official, everything is likely to change. And this is a similar situation that we have with unofficial leaks. These are generally based upon information that has either been data mined at the test stage or given to people by the testers. And then people think this is what the tank that is currently on the test will actually end up being when it hits the game, which is very rarely the case. I'm a tester myself and tanks on the test go through numerous iterations before they actually enter the game. And what you generally have in the testing phase either gets nerfed like the turtle or the yo or in some instances slightly buffed this is the reason after all why they're on the test to find out whether or not they should be changed so my friends what's the message of this don't read too much into these things just yet because it's more speculation rather than set in stone cold hard facts and there is a possibility that no buff is heading in the direction of the 50b just yet Anyway, I've been Fujit. I just wanted to get that out there in a very small video before you all start running around like lemmings thinking that the 50B is suddenly going to be absolutely broken. 
comment, like, and everything below. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy. And don't believe everything you hear. <laughs>